everyone. Welcome to this video on Semperis Forest Druid. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the free Forest Druid tool and how to use it to accelerate tier zero attack path analysis. So when you start Forest Druid first time, you are going to get this choice of um, elements to actually collect data from. On Prem Active Directory, which is what we're going to look at now, and enter ID where we can also connect to and collect relationships and objects uh, from, and we'll do that in a different video. So when I click continue, Forest Druid is actually collecting all types of relationships and objects from my forest, from my complete forest. I'm logged on as a user, only needs to have, be a user with read permissions if you don't want to change anything on the fly. The tool doesn't change anything, but maybe you would otherwise want to have a look at certain things. So here you see I've got two domains and so and so many organization units and uh, groups. So the tool is generally set up in two sections. I've got the defense perimeter section that we're looking at right now, and then we're going to look at attack path in a minute. The general uh, layout of the defense perimeter is uh, that it shows me all sorts of objects that have a relationship to my um, tier zero objects, where tier zero are those objects that are most critical for my environment, like my domain admins, enterprise admins, and all sorts of other elements that make out um, a risk to my active directory in case somebody has access to the, those objects, somebody you don't want to have access, either your users or, of course, an intruder. So that's the list view that allows you to scroll through and see all of those relationships. On the right side, you have a visualization of that. And as you can already see on the left side, everything is currently from a multi-domain forest combined in one view. So one already very powerful function is to filter for the one domain that you might want to concentrate on in a particular review. I clearly recommend to, to do the review per domain. It's uh, easier. At some point, it makes sense to then also add the other objects, um, like everything in one view. So that's uh, the defense perimeter view. And we're going to get back to this in um, a different video to actually show you how to categorize these objects to understand how to actually, well, enhance your own understanding of what your tier zero is. In general, um, what we're trying to do is to make it easy for you to understand those relationships and then decide what else do you need to protect to basically protect your most precious objects. Another way to look at those objects is the attack path screen. So here in this attack path screen, you basically have um, yeah, a, uh, an explosion of the various objects with the path towards uh, a tier zero object, even if it is, let's say, a multi-step path. So important in this screen is on the left side, you see all these different attack paths and watch the length and the cost because that's basically giving you an understanding of how difficult it is for someone if they were to take over this object, like this Fred Flintstone account, um, of someone to then take over your force, your domain. And since the DNS admins group has a lot of permissions in your domain, uh, Fred Flintstone, as a direct member, basically already owns your domain. Same with this hidden admin, maybe even more direct because it's uh, part of the domain admins group. But let's quickly have a look at an object that's further away, like this object that has length five and cost two, because it's many more hops away to get to the domain admins. Um, but still, this object, through membership and through permissions of that group to a group policy, eventually has access into the domain admins group. And with that, can also take over your complete forest. And that's basically critical to understand. You can also search in these in both screens. If I search for, for example, my root objects, that I've named root in this case, you can nicely filter and concentrate on just those elements. 
Another way to concentrate and uh, get a more clean view is to also uh, select a particular object, admin ST holder as an example, as a target filter, and then see what other objects basically have access to it. I hope this video has helped you to understand the ease of use of Forest Druid. Check out our other videos on this website for further tips on how to use it.